Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the forward projection modules in Calidan. As you can see we've already created a small project that consists of a well plan and two MWD survey runs. If we look at the data we see that MWD run number two has been drilled down to 2526 feet and we are 14.68 feet away from our well plan and our well plan is to the high side and right of our MWD survey. We can look at that with a quick scan and you can see this center point represents our MWD survey and the dot here represents the well plan and it's 14.68 feet away at a high side angle of 57.48 degrees. I always find it useful to look at the visualizer when we're using the projector head routines. Our MWD survey is to the lower side and to the left of our well plan. So the first forward projection module we're going to look at is the correction run. So go to the survey editor toolbar and click on the correction run button. The correction run dialog opens up with the same parameters that we had entered before. Right now the center to bit distance is 28 feet and the projection to the bit consists of a curved section with a 6 degree dog leg and a tool face of minus 60 and then an 8 foot straight section. At the bottom right of the correction run dialog you'll see three entry boxes. Here you can enter either the dog leg rate that you want to use to correct the survey data back to the well plan or you can set a course length that you want to use or you can specify depth on the well plan at which you want to be corrected back to the well plan. The correction run dialog opens up with a default dogleg rate of 3 degrees, but as you can see from the visualizer, a 3 degree dogleg rate is far too small to correct back to the well plan before we hit our first target. So we can do one of two things, we can increase the dogleg rate or we can actually select a target from the list of targets at the top. So go to the top of the correction run dialog and select the LP target. So a warning um, has appeared on the screen that the solution is not defined. All this means is that the curve required to correct back to the well plan is almost exactly the same as the curve of the well plan itself. So it's difficult for Kelly Down to find the exact solution back to the well plan. But we can ignore that for now. And Kelly Down has decided that we can correct back to the well plan using a 7 degree dog leg. Let's change that dog leg to exactly 7 degrees. It doesn't matter if we hit the target exactly on the center, as long as we're close to the center when we reach the target plane. So using a 7 degree dog leg, Kelly Dan has told us that we need a course length of 830 feet with that dog leg of 7 degrees, and we'll be in line with the well plan at 3,371 feet measured depth on the well plan. You can see on the left here that the bottom of our survey is currently at 2,526 feet. The bit projection takes us to 2,554 feet and then we've got two build sections. The first build section takes us to 3,256 feet and the second one takes us to 3,385 feet. At that depth we are aligned with our well plan. So the other options we have open to us are to enter the course length directly. So instead of 830 feet we could enter 800 feet. So now if we look at the visualizer we are back in line with our well plan using a course length of 800 feet using a 7.11 degree dog leg. The third alternative is to enter the depth on the well plan where you want to be back in line with the well plan. So instead of 3,341, let's change that to 3,250 feet. So now the survey data is back in line with the well plan at a depth of 3,250 feet on the well plan. And our depth for the survey at the end of the correction run will be 3,260 feet. Let's zoom into the visualizer and see where that correction takes us back in line with our well plan. And you can see we're back in line with the well plan 
just before we enter that first target, AA16 landing point. The next forward projection module we're going to look at is the Ouija board. So return to the survey data editor and then click on the Ouija board button at the top. So the Ouija board opens and you can see that the same target is selected as we had in the correction run and the same bit projection. Um, the sensor to bit distance is 28 feet. We have a, a curved section of 6 degrees or 20 feet and then an 8 feet straight section to the bit. The four lines of data show the reference survey data, that's our current survey, then the bit projection, and then the projection consists of a curved section and a straight section that leads it directly to the center of the target. In this particular instance, there is no straight section in that projection. And we can see that we penetrate the target at the center and our inclination of the target is 91.7 degrees and our azimuth of the target is 55.175 degrees. So we can use the Ouija board to perform what if calculations on the projection. We know by looking at the target parameters shown at the top right of the dialog that we should be entering that target plane at an inclination of 90 degrees and an azimuth of 65 degrees. So let's enter those values into the boxes at the bottom. So 90 degrees for the inclination and 65 degrees for the azimuth. And Kelly Down calculates that we need to turn for a course length of 550 with a 7.3 degree dog leg and that takes us from the end of the bit projection at 2554 feet to 3104 feet and then we have a straight section of 136 feet before we penetrate the target. And we can also see that we'll penetrate that target at 12.57 feet away from the center. And we can see where we hit the target on the Kelly Down visualizer. If you zoom in and rotate, we're just to the bottom and right of the target. You can also see where we penetrate the target plane by clicking on the target plane simulation button and we'll see a small graphic of where exactly we penetrate that target plane. If we know that we can get 8 degrees out of our bent sub or bent motor, we can enter those values into the dogleg weight and see then where we penetrate the target centre. And as you can see from the graphic, we're still very close to the centre when we penetrate the target using these parameters. You can click on the buttons at the bottom right to change the algorithm that's used to penetrate the target. So for example, we could enter a course length of 500 feet and keep the 90 degrees and 65 degrees inclination and azimuth and see where we penetrate the target center. We can also, if we like, penetrate the target at the exact vertical depth. So, so we change the algorithm until we have the inclination, azimuth and vertical depth and then enter the vertical depth of the target which is 1596.45. And now we see if we want to penetrate the target at the exact vertical depth we will be 38.81 feet away from the target centre and we'll need a 10 degree dog leg to achieve that vertical depth. So there are many other things you can do with the Ouija board as you can with all the other four projection modules. If you discover you can't reach the target with the current situation, you can change the reference survey to an earlier survey so you can calculate where is the best place to perform a sidetrack. So we've changed the reference survey from the bottom of our MWD survey back to reference survey number 40 and the depth is 2196 feet and we can click on the hit target center button and notice that we can hit the target with an inclination of 89.9 degrees and an azimuth of 66.4 degrees. Let's enter that 90 degrees of inclination and 65 degrees of azimuth again and look at the visualizer to see how we've hit that target. So zoom back from the visualizer so instead of projecting to the target from the end of the MWD run, we've come back to a depth of 2196 feet and we're projecting from that depth to the target. And you can see on the visualizer how we project forward to the bit and then project onwards to that target plane. The third forward projection module that we're going to look at in this tutorial is the build, drop, turn projection. For this example, we've added two new MWD runs, 
down to a total measured depth of 5,376 feet. We continued the well down through the turn section and we're approaching the final TD target. And we purposely dropped angle so that we can demonstrate um, the build drop turn for projection. So go to the survey editor and click on the build drop turn button on the tool bar. By default, Kelly Dunn will project from the last survey point forward to the bit and then project ahead to penetrate the target center using a constant turn and build. In the example, we can see that we projected to the bit using the same parameters that we did in the previous four projection modules. And you can see that to reach the center of the target, we need to build at 4.1 degrees and turn at 1.76 degrees. So using the build drop turn required feature, we can click on various parts of the target. So the target is depicted in the box at the top right. And if we didn't think we could reach the center of the target with our current BHA, we can click on other parts of the target to see how close we can get. So if we clicked on the bottom edge, we see that we need a 2.5 degree build and a 1.2 degrees turn to the right. And if we click on any point on the target, the dialog shows us the turn and build rates needed to hit those points on the target. Once again, as we change the position on the target, the visualizer is updated. So we can see exactly the profile that we're going to use to hit that point on the target. The three buttons to the right of the graphics window allow you to zoom in, zoom out, and also recenter the projection at the target center. Click on the report button to see a report of the projection. The report shows the existing survey data, the projection to the bit, and then the projection to the target, ending at the target plan simulation. Click on the create well plan from bit projection to create a well plan that's tied onto the current survey and shows the projection from the last survey to the bit. You can also click on the Create Projection button to create a survey of the projection from the current survey down to the target. Click on the button and the new projection dialog will open up and we'll recreate the projection as a survey and add it to the CaliDown database. Click on the Quick Scan button to scan the projection against all the other selected wells in the current project. You can also scan against the proposal data. The Quick Scan utility is discussed in another tutorial, but for this demonstration, we'll just look at the scan of the projection against the proposed data. So the center of the circle represents the projection and the blue line represents the proposal from the last survey here down to um, where it hits the target center. You can also see a ladder plot showing the distance of the projection from the proposal and then as the correction is applied the projection hits the target where the proposal hits the target. Thank you for watching this tutorial.